So did you happen to notice I shaved my facial lettuce? Yeah, my mom always told me that guys don't need facial hair to be good looking, but I went ahead and did it anyway. She also told me that if I eat my bread crust as a kid, it would put hair in my chest. What she failed to tell me was the amount of hair we put on the rest of my body as well. What's up, posers? Welcome to the gong show that is between two bushings. I'm Bryce Dugan, and in case you haven't been able to tell by my attire, we're talking about the official religion of Canada today. Hockey. We're going to start with the five whys of why hockey is the best sport in the world. Damn, mass keeps falling down. It's the fastest game and most physical game in the world. Hockey players can hit speeds of up to 30 miles per hour, and it's been proven that AHL hits are 20% harder than NFL hits. Hockey players are taught at a young age to pretend they are never hurt. In fact, hockey players pretend to not be hurt even when they are hurt. Unlike some other sports, most hockey teams don't have cheerleaders. We have ice cleaning crews. Hockey players and fans also have their own language. As an example, sup brah? Hear about my Gino last night at the beer barn burner? I dangled the pile on five hole and made him look like a real bender. And then I sniped a biscuit, top cheddar, past the tendy. The best part was my show like Sally as the pigeon sat and chirped me afterwards. Now none of you may have understood that, but it all makes sense to us. Number five. We'll call these disputes. All disputes are settled on the ice, and a dispute never goes unsettled. Here's an example. No, they have to draw a face off. Three fights simultaneously. Up here in the true North Strong and Free, we kneel at the altar of St. Gretzky, recite our 53 Haley's, and keep our eyes glued to the TV for the Sermon of Hockey Night in Canada, the sacrament built by Pope Cherry. Every year we pray that Lord Stanley's Holy Grail can be lifted by a Canadian team. I mean, really, it's embarrassing at this point. The last Canadian team to win the Stanley Cup in Canada was the Montreal Canadiens, and that was in 1993. 99% of Canadians hate that team. I guess it's true what they say, eh? The camera really does add 57 pounds. If I haven't made it clear by now, we really, really love our hockey. For the 2010 Winter Olympics, 80% of Canadians tuned in to watch the final game, where Sid the Kid lit the lamp for our golden goal. Canadians may be nice, but we don't react well to chirps from the opposition. We take the game seriously. When it comes time for us to reach those pearly gates, don't be surprised if most of us are born in our... <laughs> Hang on. Don't be surprised if many of us are born... Jesus. When it's time for us to reach the pearly gates, don't be surprised if the majority of us are buried in our team's favorite jersey. Nice sweater, bud. Too bad your team is like the Titanic. Oh, it looks good until it hits the ice. Your boys haven't won a Stanley Cup since Nam, and don't think that I haven't forgot. You lost to a Zamboni driver last year? That's it, we're dropping the mess. Well, that's our show. Do us a solid, eh? I threw an A because it's Canadian. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the only way you'll get to see more of these terrible videos. And believe it or not, we actually have a real business. Visit our website at www.bearingbronze.com. Special thanks to our El Presidente, Catherine Silver. Please don't forget, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Bryce Dugan, out.